Hey friends, it is time for our Chinese chop. Now, this says, I love you in Chinese, and we were looking at the Chinese alphabet for inspiration. Here are some of what I think is beautiful in the language with the meanings. We've looked at some of this. Here's the steps to what we're gonna be doing today. We are gonna be creating a chop. If I go too fast, hit pause, and then replay when you're ready. All right, so we're gonna jam through this. We have been studying Chinese landscapes and the culture of China, which is beautiful. And I'm, I am definitely biased because my son teaches in China and he married a beautiful Chinese wife, Selena. And this is my example that I've been doing with you of a Chinese landscape with my plan, with the photo I took of a horse because remember, we're using a primary source, something you took photography of, to show that we are uh, avoiding plagiarism, that we're doing personal theme, something we like and that we're interested in. Then we picked a Bible verse. My verse is the one that you guys are doing in May, so you can count this for your verse for May, they'll work if you do it on your final, but you get to pick the verse, make sure it's encouraging. And I left the spot right there for the chop. That's where I'm going to do my stamp. And now, we're going to practice on a page so we don't ruin our final piece. So here is my planning page. And a little fact, a little bit of the, what I found on the internet about the facts of the Chinese chop, which is another name for stamp we use in America and how it's used on their artwork and documents. And here's my plan of symbols. I, I left room here so I could stamp this on. That's what I use. The stamp's ready to stamp on here and the practice before I do it on my final, all right? I used what you all have at home, I hope, any styrofoam will work, but I used an egg cart, carton. And cut really easy. If your parents don't allow you to use knives at home, don't use a scissor, should work fine, but it's sliced very easily with a, uh, a knife or an X-Acto knife if you're allowed to use these. And if you're not allowed to use a knife, which you wanna be very careful with, Use scissors, okay? Depends how we'll do it. Then I have ink, black ink, and blue ink. And if you do not have ink to do your stamp on, then you can also do it with watercolor or acrylic paint watered down. So I'm gonna do it both ways. Practice on my practice sheet and then do it on my final. So you could do this along with me. Now my chop looks a little diagonal there. So this is where I'm going to get my knife and try to make it straight because if I ink it up it could ink up around the ink will show on my whole shape of my stamp sometimes we'll see how it works all right so be very careful with these don't touch the blade don't want anyone getting hurt following along all right so this all I did was draw it out based on my plans so I looked at a piece of symbol of the Holy Spirit and my meaning you get to create meaning with your symbol is the father son spirit the three in one how God's with us so you get to think of a really cool meaning with your symbol you create so I'm gonna see if I press down enough with just a regular point pen to make it indented enough for a stamp now because we're practicing or trying this together I'm gonna try it on blue ink first so I'm gonna ink it up and then they taught us in stamping up class, if you've ever taken a stamper class, to always huff it first. That's my first one. Next, I'm going to try it in black. I'm going to try a couple trials before I put this on my final piece, since I don't want to ruin my final. All right, one, two. Lift it up. Oh, very light. Can you see it? Mm, I'm thinking I'm going to try it now with watercolor. I might like the way that comes better and I could use my analogous color scheme. So I'm just using some water with the colors that I have in my final. I'm going to work with the blue and purple that I mixed together to make a periwinkle color and try it out. I'm getting a pretty thick layer on there so I can paint it on my stamp. And then you got to make sure it's pretty wet so I need, you can see where it's beading off. It's going to have to Look at it and eye it if you're working with paint instead of with ink. As soon as you get it ink wet enough, ooh, 
So which one do you like better? I think if you don't have an ink pad and you're going with paint, you could try this with acrylic. You could do it with watercolor. If I'm gonna do it with watercolor, I'm gonna make it a little thicker so you could see the paint around it. And I'm gonna have to crack this over here one more time before I decide. And then we're gonna do it on our final. All right, so there's my symbols. Uh, this is why you want to do a practice page. You could photograph that and show me on Google Classroom. And now I am ready to do my stamp on my final project. Now I'm going to be posting my final project with the stamp on it on Google Classroom. And I have another final I'm working on over here as an example. So stay tuned in to see the final pieces done. Over and out, my friends.